Let's add custom structures to Minecraft. All right, we find ourselves back on Challenger once more, and in this tutorial, we're going to be adding custom structures to a Minecraft. Now, this is going to be JSON only, so we won't need to write any code for our custom structures, and it's all going to be done via data JSON files. Now, the biggest shout out, of course, goes out to the structure tutorial mod here from Telepathic Grunt. This is by far the best resource. If you want to deep dive into structures, then I highly recommend checking out. I will link this in the description below, and you can see we have the forge jigsaw right here. We also have fabric and quill jigsaws as well. I highly recommend checking out the repository over here if you need anything else. But regardless of that, we're going to jump back in over here. So I will be copying over all of the JSON files. Those will also be available and they will also include all of the comments made from Telepathic Grunt so that you have I mean, basic explanations of every single field inside of those JSON files. And I will also go through and explain what everything does. Now, the first thing we're actually going to do is we're going to jump into Minecraft and build ourselves a custom structure. Let's go and see. All right, so we find ourselves in Minecraft over here, and I have built this cow house. Absolutely amazing creation of mine, of course. Uh, it's not, you know, something insanely great, but it is definitely a custom structure. You can say that because it includes the dogwood planks over here, dogwood logs as well, and, you know, a few crimson doors as well as some nice tainted or a gray stained glass over here so it's pretty cool we also have a an empty chest in the middle because why not that's totally fine and overall that is pretty much the structure i want to save now how you can save a structure actually fairly straightforward you want to just give yourself the following thing you want to give yourself the structure block right here and when you have that, you're just going to place this on the corners. Now you want to place this on the outside of the corners like this, basically. And then we're going to basically go to corner mode. So at the bottom left over here, we're going to do corner mode, tutorial col uh, mod colon kaupen underscore house, because that's what I called it. And we can mark this or select it with control A, control X, control V. So basically that I've comp copied the name over here. We're going to say done. And then we're going to go to the other corner over here. I'm going to do the same thing. There we go. I'm going to put this in under save mode this time, hit detect, and then it should detect the entire structure here. So basically, as long as they have the same name and are on opposite corners here, they should detect the entire structure. I'm okay with this. I like this. And I'm going to say save this. And now the structure has been saved as tutorial mod colon kaupen underscore house. Now that is actually all that we need to do to save the structure. We now have an NBT file. I'm going to show you where it is and where you need to put it. And then we can also create our JSON files afterwards. Now the NBT file is found on the run folder over here, then under saves and then whatever, basically where you saved it, the, the world. So this is going to, so my world was called structures generated. And then inside of here, we have the Calm House NBT. So we're just going to copy this. What we're actually going to do is we're going to copy the structures folder over here. So just control C to copy it and then paste it into the data tutorial mod folder. There we go. Now we have the NBT file right here and we can proceed to add the JSON files. Now, when it comes to the JSON files, there's not that many of them. However, they are quite this. It's a very condensed, let's say. And the first thing we will do in the data tutorial mod folder, right click a new directory. And this is called tags. Now, this is extremely important. Please pay attention to this. We're going to then make a new directory called world gen world gen. There you go. Inside of that directory, another directory called biome. And lastly, inside of that directory, we're also going to add another directory called has underscore structure. There you go. And then I will be copying over the JSON file. This is called com underscore house.json. And you see it is just a tag with a bunch of different values, in this case, biomes, where this particular structure can spawn. You can add more biomes or more biome tags or whatever you want. You can remove them, whatever you so choose to do. And now this is extremely important. The second folder we are creating is once again, data folder. Tutorial mod, right click new directory called world gen. Now, what you will find is that you're going to have two ish world gen folders right here. You can see one of them is inside of the tags folder and one of them is in the tutorial mod folder. If I were to close this, you can see they're very, very close together. However, they are two different folders. I want you to please pay attention to this because it's very, very easy to confuse one with the other. One of them is inside of your tags folder. The other one, as you can see, is inside of your tutorial mod folder inside of that newly created one. We want four different directories, actually three different directories. The first one is structure. And then the second one is going to be the structure underscore set. And then the last one is going to be the template underscore pool. 
There we go. We're going to start with the structure one, and that is going to be once again a calm underscore house dot JSON. And this is the first, well, the first JSON file. And you can see it points to a start pool. This is a JSON file we're going to add in the template pool folder in just a moment. We also have a size over here. This is basically needed if you have multiple jigsaw structures, right, or j multiple jigsaw pieces, then what's going to happen is that if you increase the size, then this is basically the branching length. So if you have, you know, one jigsaw piece spawning from another and another and another and another, then you need to increase this size for our purposes, two or even one would be totally sufficient. You can see this is the maximum distance from the center that this can spawn. We also have the biome tag. So this is going to be the tag that we've just added right here that it references in this case. Where is this being added? This should always be surface structures. The absolute height, basically how much it is sunk into the ground. Let's try zero here instead of minus one. You have to sometimes have to play around with this a little bit to, well, basically to see how it works best. Although I actually think that minus one is correct in our case. So let's keep it as minus one. And then we're just going to keep this as follows. You can also add some spawn overrides, basically making it so that you, you know, certain mobs can spawn in this structure. The next thing is the structure set. Let's add this one as well. And this is the actual thing. This is actually very important over here. So here you make a list of structures, basically a weighted list. In this case, we only have the count house and it has weight one. You could in theory add multiple structures over here. And then one of those structures is being spawned at that position, basically. So you could in theory add multiple structures. Now this one over here, of course, refers back to the structure right here. Absolutely no worries. Now when it comes to the placement here, you know, the salt should be big and unique. Do pay attention though that this is not bigger than like 2.4 billion because otherwise then you will hit the integer limit and that's going to be a bad time because then it's not going to work. The spacing and separation should be fairly self-explanatory. You can literally read the comments. This is the average distance apart in chunks and this is the minimum distance apart in chunks. Self-explanatory pretty much. Now, when it comes to both of those numbers, they are pretty low. I definitely recommend when you actually add a structure into your own mod, make those bigger, like highly recommend it. And then random spread. I would honestly just keep it like this. Don't get too bogged down on the ring based one with the strongholds. Uh, that is going to be fine for most applications for the time being. And then in the template pool, we actually want another directory called Kalpen underscore house. And then you saw that they are a sort pool JSON file. And this once again, you can see, first of all, it references itself. There's just this this is just the same name, right? Calm House is the folder. Start pool is the JSON file. If for whatever reason something fails, we're just going to leave this empty. Absolutely no worries. And then in the elements over here, we can see we have one element and that is the Calm House. This points back to exactly this structure. So data tutorial mode structures, Calm House. This is what this points to. We don't have any process adjacents. Highly recommend the telepathic grunts tutorial repo. If you're interested in this, they actually have a uh, processor JSON file there for you to look at. And the other two, I would probably simply keep this and you can change it to terrain matching just to try it out. I highly recommend playing around with this one way or the other, but those are actually all of the JSON files that you need. So we can basically go through this one more time. We need a tag to say, hey, in these particular biomes, is this structure going to spawn? We need to have a structure JSON file, which says this is the start pool and a few other things, basically pointing back to the biomes and stuff like that. We then have a structure set, which gets the placement. And then the start pool itself points back to the NBT file. And that is all we need. Now let's make a new world and see if our structure spawns. All right, we find ourselves in Minecraft and let's just see, look at it. Look there, we already have one of our count houses and well it definitely did spawn one below which um isn't quite what i had in mind but you know we can still go in here there you go everything's still available as it seems and well if we now you know just go a little bit further along i'm pretty sure we're gonna find a another one pretty freaking quickly over here so there is actually the second one. So you can see they're very, very close to each other. Highly recommend to change the numbers over here at some point. But overall, it does spawn. That's pretty awesome. So maybe the terrain adaptation or terrain matching one would be better a little bit in this case instead of doing it rigid. But still, regardless of that, custom structures in Minecraft. Pretty awesome indeed. Right, but that's going to be for this tutorial right here. I hope you found this useful and you learned something new. And I'll see you all in the next tutorial. So, yeah. 